a blessed day to all of you brothers and sisters and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the diocesan shrine of jesus the divine word in christ the king mission seminary quezon city today is thursday of the fifth week of easter the church celebrates today the feast of saint dominic Savio. our mass presider is reverend father louis punsalan svd our eucharistic celebration will now begin please rise In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends in Christ, we continue reading from the farewell address or the farewell discourse of Jesus to the disciples prior to his ascension into heaven. In the Gospel reading for today, which is part of the farewell address, the Lord tells the disciples, As the Father loves me, I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, those sinners, we are made just. And though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as He did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith He purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test? By placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved, through the grace of the Lord Jesus, in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened, while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, 
James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written, After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord. Even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked, thus says the Lord who accomplished these things, known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless His name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce His salvation day after day. Tell His glory among the nations, among all peoples, His wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, The Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. We honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and that your joy may be complete. My dear people of God, this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I grew up in a different generation compared to our seminarians in front of me today. What do I mean when I say that I grew up in a different generation? In the early 1960s, middle 60s and even late 60s whatever my father and my mother said we just obeyed whatever they tell us to do no questions asked you obey the word of father is law my dear brothers and sisters, the generation today is different from the generation of yesterday. We did not argue with our parents. 
we couldn't argue with them. We did not give alibis and justification to our parents. We simply obeyed what our parents wanted us to do. In our gospel reading for today, the discourse at the Last Supper, our Lord formulated a few concrete recommendations addressed to the apostles. The gospel today is a portion of Jesus' last will and testament. And what strikes an observant reader is the Lord's insistence on the love His apostles will have to show one another. And the same point will be again emphasized in the gospel reading tomorrow. Jesus uses the word commandment. Our Lord uses the word commandment. And He uses it in a short gospel reading four times. Commandment is used four times. It is as if the Lord wanted to recall to mind an absolute that under no circumstances should be challenged. Jesus dealt with the main reality. Jesus dealt with the essential concern, the sole preoccupation of those who would claim that they are His followers and who count themselves among His disciples. In a very short gospel today, Jesus insists on fraternal charity. Jesus insists on brotherly affection. He gives it as a commandment. It is given as a mandate. It is given as an order. It is not a request. It is not an appeal. It is not a plea. It is not a suggestion. It is a commandment. Love one another. That is a commandment. And commandments are orders. And what are orders? Orders are orders. Orders are not to be interpreted. Orders are to be observed. Orders are to be obeyed. Abide in me, the Lord says. And our Lord now specifies what it means to abide in Him. To abide in Him means to abide in His love. And He also says, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. What is the meaning of the word or the verb to abide? To abide means to stay. To abide means to continue, to conform, to remain stable, to follow, to do. And our Lord's love for the disciples is patterned after the Father's love for Jesus. And similarly, Jesus loves us just as the Father loves us. And so what is the challenge? The challenge highlights a mutual dependence between love and obedience. Love demands obedience. And at the same time, Obedience is the fruit of love. Some years from now, our seminarians will profess the vows. And you will profess the vows of chastity, poverty, and obedience. You have to learn to obey. You have to learn to follow. Commandments, mandates, orders. And Jesus gives an assurance that those who obey the commandments will experience divine joy. He said that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete if you do what 
I command you. Amén. Prayers of the faithful. Christ says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently, inspired by his words. Let our response be, Lord, we place our trust in you. Lord, we place our trust in you. That our church may become a true community, producing fruits of love and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place our, our trust in you. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place our, our trust in you. That married couples may be faithful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place our, our trust, trust in you. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, we place our, our trust in you that those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we place, place our, our trust, trust in you. God, our Father, hear our prayers. Fill our hearts with your love so that we may always live in a way that pleases you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in the sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know the truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, 
He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and gave you thanks he broke the bread gave it to the disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks, gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in my memory. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary the mother of god saint joseph her spouse all the apostles all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord insists on the commandment of love. Let us ask the Lord for the strength and for the grace to be able to fulfill this commandment. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, of the, the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. If you obey the commandments, you will remain in my love, the Lord said. My dear friends, this is Jesus always obeying the will of the Father. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, happy are those invited to His Supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you already were, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people thus to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from diseases. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. Saint San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renaud events. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. The Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word is currently holding its first online Flores de Mayo and Rosary prayers on all Saturdays of May 4 at, at May at 4 p.m. 
except this Saturday, May 8, which be out, will, will be at 2.30 p.m. We are inviting everyone to join this online activity by sending us video clips offering flowers to Mama Mary that will be shown during the live stream. Aside from flowers, offering of cash and in-kind donations for, for our mobile community pantry will also be appreciated. Due to physical limitations, your donations will be offered by the seminarians and other church ministry members who will be present every Saturday. Please check the link for more details and instructions regarding uploading of your videos and sending of your donations. Make a difference during this time of pandemic through prayers and generosity. Thank you and God bless you all. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, lalong-lalo na sa atin mga kababayan na nasa ibang bansa at kahit na yung mga narito sa Pilipinas. Uh, ang ang pagka, nais kong samantalahin ang pagkakataong itong magpasalamat muli sa mga tumutulong, those who are continuously helping us at Christ the King Mission Seminary, supporting our seminarians, sharing in our ministry of forming and educating future SVD priests and missionaries. Kaya nag-request ako kanina, pwede mo bang paikutin yung camera nang makita naman ang mga seminarista natin ng ating mga sponsors, donors, and benefactors. Okay? Paikutin mo nga. Bilis-bilisan mo lamang at nagmamadali ang mga tao. Okay? Ikot, 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 ikot. Tama na? Naikot na? Okay na? Okay. That's enough. Now, Pwede ko bang tawagin dito sa harapan, hindi ko kayo ipakikilala, pero tawagin ko lang sa harapan, ang Kambal. Kambal. Sandrel and Sandrek. Punta nga kayo dito sa harap. Dali, dali, dali. Sandrel, Sandrek. Harap. May nanunood sa inyo. Sandrel and Sandrek. Samson, punta ka nga dito sa harapan. Dinsin, punta ka sa harapan. Dali. Pila kayo dyan. Dinsin. Olan, punta ka sa harapan. P.U.U.C., punta sa harapan. Juan Miguel, please come forward. Ronald, forward please. Pibo, Jekyll, Jam, Otom. Yan. Eh, focus mo nga yung mga mukha niyo, mga, mga wanted na yan. <laughs> Ito po, uh, maganda umaga. Ipinapakilala e, namin sa inyo ang mga tinutulungan nating seminarista. Ayan ho, hindi ko babanggitin ang kanilang pangalan, pero yan ho ang kanilang pagmumukha. Tandaan ho ninyo ang kanilang... Nagpapasalamat sila. In their name, I would like to thank you for the generous help and assistance that you have been extending to these seminarians. You can go back to your seats now, guys. And uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to appeal for more help. Lalapit po uli ako, sabagkat malapit na namang dumating ang mga first-year seminarians. Kung may gusto sa inyong magbigay ng tulong, magpaaral ng nagpapari, malapit na naman ang bagong school year, ay... Inaanyayahan namin kayo na mag-isip-isip at ipagdasal kung nais ninyong tumulong na magpaaral ng mga nagpapari at magiging pari at misyonero balang araw. That is why in front of you, we would like to post our bank details. In front of you is our bank details and also our GCash numbers. Also, my email address, if you want to ask some questions on the mechanics of helping a seminarian, if you want to ask some questions and get more information, please do not hesitate to send me an email. I will respond to your questions and, for your, and to your need for more information. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Elin, maraming salamat. Wilma, Ruth, Teresa. Dodo, sino pa ba? Marami. Uh, Ruby, Ruby. Maraming maraming salamat. At sa mga hindi ko nabanggit, God knows 
your heart. Sa, sa ibang pagkakataon, siguro ay mababanggit ko rin kayo. Sa inyo pong lahat na tumutulong sa amin at sa mga seminaristang ito, maraming maraming salamat. Let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the Holy Trine God live and reign in our heart. Saint Arnold Johnson, Saint Joseph Renademan, 